We've been here, as I've been here since the ninth generation. We are the ninth gen, Jimmy and them, the ninth generation. And my mother's mother died at 94. No, she didn't, she was 104. That was my father's mother died at 94. And my own mother died in the 94th year. The queer I love her, Jimmy. Do you think we'll add up to him, ain't they poor? Yeah, I'm going necessary, I think, to look at the area as a whole, and we did do, and it became apparent that the best way to deal with it was to do a comprehensive redevelopment scheme covering the area from William Street through to the Gasworks. We surveyed this area in detail, it gave us Quiet and nice and don't bother on it. Three dairy. Three. Three day and place, isn't it? Ah, day is like they know nothing but a shit house.
first problem we had to overcome. We had to make contact with the people and establish a feeling of trust between managers and the people concerned. Uh, we started at that in the summer of 1962 to complete a survey on the area. Every family was visited. All the business premises were visited and all the service area uh, industries were contacted. The type of information who were mainly owner-occupiers and elderly people living in quite good uh, living conditions and uh, people who have been satisfied to live their lives in their present homes. Um, school at 10 year old and I would done their work at 12 year old and I earned a half a crown a week and I got the clapping out at night made more money and Friday night I got all that money changed into the coppers rolled it in a handkerchief brought it home by can get your money. Maybe not four shillings in the whole lot. In the old days, uh, these places known now as public houses were known as spirit grocers. Well, uh, the uh, women come in and did their shopping in the morning for groceries, and then they went back to the other end of the bar and got a little bit of spirits. So I think that is really why there is so many public houses in this area, because. Uh, Licenses must have been easier to get back in those days. Do you remember?
Now the most important thing in us making this change that I see was before in the old house. You were ashamed to bring people to ask them in because the condition was wretched. But now you couldn't care less. You could bring in whoever you, you wished. And another thing, the children You're always in terror with this drunk man. You had to keep your doors shut. And at night over here now, we're peace and contentment for it's quiet. And everything suits us better. Care for the tall. They tell you the truth. Of course, I'm old now, you know, and then these young people's all dying about it. But I'm not dying about it. Tell you the truth. When we get on in years, you know, we don't like to be shifted. And we had to be shifted for the broaden of the roads and everything else. And now, as we are shifted, I feel a great change in the houses. And I paid two pounds, fourteen and two pence. A fortnight. Well, take two pound fourteen and tuppence out of every fortnight. Well, I manage fairly well. For I I don't squander no money, and I am very careful what I leave out. Don't pay the rent. You see, I get on me coal. Well then, and another, and I get in my tea and sugar and things like that. And uh, I leave out the money to the, and the milk and everything like that, and meat. And I have no debt. I don't go into debt, neither for clothes or anything else. And I quite manage just tightly, you know, but, uh, but for anything else, that's all I can say. Thank you, Miss Owen. Why would I be lonely? What accommodation have huh? you? I think the houses are too close. Moreover, in my opinion, it's terrible at a person born and reared among dogs. When I first heard about having to go to the field, I didn't like the idea of it. I was like some of the rest of the people, I didn't want to go. But since I've came up here, I've changed my opinion. I'm sorry I was so long in getting up. I should have been here 20 years ago and don't. You always heard somebody passing up in, up in Dove's garden, I hear no one. Some nights I can't sleep, it's so quiet. And what do you do? Never. 
and we come out there, up there, to the door, you know what they speak to you. Only you're looking over at this man's house and there's somebody else maybe looking at some woman's room. And when they come out in the door, Well, the, the difference that I see in <coughs> Adam Street and uh, here in Minnesville is uh, 